As we sow the seeds of cassava, we plant the seed of opportunities. Through hard work and dedication, we nurture these plants, watching them strive under the sun's warm embrace. With each passing day, we witness the miracle of growth as the cassava plants reach towards the heavens, their leaves whispering secrets of abundance and bounty. Despite of our love for cassava farming, we are reminded each day with the daily cost it requires to carry out this crop production. Basically, in this video, I'm going to analyze the cost of starting a cassava farm. Being an experienced farmer or somebody who is, wants to invest, don't go anywhere. Click on the subscribe button as we delve into this video. Remember, we are done the part one of this video, which you could kindly go into this page and see. So into the part two of this video, we are actually going to analyze the cost and the herbicides being used to carry out production. So don't go anywhere for, because in this video, you are going to see the cost, the different herbicides, the different forms of production and whatsoever thing you need to know about cassava farming. Even what you need, how you need to sell or export your cassava. Note that there is no farming without challenges. And as such, preparing for the cost keeps you one step ahead of often seen circumstances that might arise in the course of your farming. So directly, let's analyze this cost. What are the necessary costs involved? The first step to consider is deciding the use of herbicide, including the cost or starting the farm without herbicide, which incurs zero cost. Knowing that helps you to better target the land in which you want to plant. Either you're going in for a bush vegetation, black bush or a virgin land costing just $10,000 per acre or a grass vegetation, which is already a used field. So let's go to a bush vegetation. Basically, a bush vegetation is a land which has not yet been used. It is quite bushy and you will need to acquire labor in order to bring down the bushes, bring down the grasses. Very important notice here, herbicide is a must in this type of field or high field per acre. Herbicide cost is less than $5 per liter. There are different forms of herbicides like Glycal, Roundup, but take note of a glyphosate herbicide when applying. Take note of this when you are dealing with a bush vegetation. Slash and clear the land. Apply herbicide when the leaves are still fresh. Yes, once you have slashed land, in the period of three days to one week you are of slashing the land, you ought to spray in the herbicide to ensure that it brings out the profitability you are desiring for. It kills the grasses in your field as you desire it to be. Failure to do so, you might not achieve the purpose for which you are trying to carry out your cassava farming. With a grass vegetation, it actually makes it easier because here, no clearing or slashing is required. You don't need to clear or to slash as in the bush vegetation. And from here, you could just apply a glyphosate containing herbicide and spray the farm directly. Note, you ought to always look at the medium for how you have to administer it. So check the content, check the area of these herbicides to know how their applications are being done. Because in the grass field, 
no need of clearing no need to pay people to clear it for you you just need to apply your herbicide this herbicide once you apply you can give the farm at least two weeks so that the grasses dies down and you're able to now come with your planting yes once decided on the type of field the next is decide which style to do is it ploughing or tilling now note you could acquire machines which could produce all these functions or you could go in for human labor depending on the area in which you are consider the cost of tillage of operation then decide whether the field improvement will offset that investment so note it consider the cost of tilling per hectare estimate the value per hectare is twenty dollars or less so an estimate of tillage or ploughing using a machine could be twenty dollars or less per acre so take our time evaluate this cost and know if actually you can deal with the cost or the cost is above you do not start a farming which is above your cost always start farming investment with the little you have and as years goes by you are able to improve and invest more on that farmland using more sophisticated instrument no Ploughing increasing yields 300% per acre with high profitability ratio. So what are you thinking about? The expected revenue, 3 tons per acre, giving you at least $3,000 per acre. An acre is estimated at $10,000. If 3000 is per ton, it means an acre will cost up to 10000 So just... Estimate this cost. Are you willing to pay this cost? Are you able to analyze? And, and if it favors you, good. But not as Africans, the one we always go for is manual tillage. Yes. Why do we take this? We have family members. We have friends. We have colleagues in which we could just call them. And they come in to till the farm. Remember, it's not every farm that requires tillage. Less costly things it can be carried out by family members and friends. Also, less affordable for beginners. So, if actually you're intending to go into cassava farming as a beginner, I will advise you to start with this level. Your family, your friends, your colleague should be the gold. No need to acquire sophisticated machine at the beginning of an investment which is costly for you. Until you must have understood what are the necessary elements in that particular investment, especially cassava investment, which is the queen of crops. And region increases the hill by two. That is two times 1,000 tons, giving you at least two thousand dollars the estimated revenue per acre is five thousand dollars so nb decide which one is best based on cost so the next cost we are analyzing here is the cassava roots yes which is the most easiest roots to obtain cassava is typically propagated through stem cutting and you could cut the stem with a handmade machine or with your cutlasses depending on how developed you are or or how sophisticated your farming activities are but if it's not that large with just your cutlass you're able to cut the stems and not cut healthy stems cut only healthy stems which are cut into 15 to 20 centimeters with at least three to four knots before planting and when planting you give a space of one by one meter at least a meter of spacing as you see it's quite beautiful but it requires work it requires resilience it requires effort cassava takes up to eight months to one year 
to have higher profitability. You might have come across people who says you could have a cassava in six, five months. It will not be as healthy and as productive as those harvesting in a period of nine months to one year. When you take a machine to plow your farm, no need to hire people to help you plant because you could actually just put it. But in a case of tilling by family members, you might still need those members to come and till the soil for you. And once the crop has been planted, in the period of three to six months, you need to spray the farm again. Now, yeah, note, before you see a healthy cassava, you must not spray. It is not a necessity. The spraying of the farm or applying herbicides or applying fertilizers is simply to increase yield. It is not a necessity. So, not all this cause. And note that you apply the herbicide when the plants are very small. So, these are the costs we have analyzed for you today. If you want a more detailed analysis, in our next video, I'm going to analyze now from the beginning right up to the end and different people who are in need of cassava. So note cassava can be used for the production of paper, textile, and fabrics. So if you want to know more all about these, subscribe to this channel to get the part three of this video, which will be very explicit. We'll not go into the farming. We'll just basically analyze the cost things I have brought to you step by step. On today, it has been your host, Financing Magdalene. Please subscribe.